Hi guys, it's Jenny Belly. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, this art journal. Um, yes, it is an art journal, it just happens to hang. Uh, but you can do the same technique and make it into um, some shadow boxes, you can make it into just a piece of artwork, or you can put pictures in it and make a hanging picture frame. Um, it's all made from recycled materials, so you shouldn't need to go out um, and recycle anything. And, and buy anything. <laughs> Should we go out and buy anything? Um, and I hope it gives you some ideas for journaling outside of a normal fashion. Okay, so to make it, you're going to need some craft cheese boxes. Take off the top because you want the bottoms because they have this extra lip which is big enough to be able to put some holes in to thread through. Now obviously this box is flimsy and it's going to break and it won't last long if you just paint this um, and string this. So grab some newspaper or any other scrap pieces of paper that you have that will be thrown away. Tear them up into little pieces like this and then decoupage them on with just some PVA glue, um, gel matte medium, whatever it is that you have and it makes them very very solid very sturdy very rigid you can't really bend it I'm trying here looking I can't bend it um, and then once you've decoupaged them just give them an extra layer just to make sure that they last and they are ready for painting once you have painted your boxes now is the time to if you are journaling like I am to figure out what your boxes are going to be about I'm going to do three of the most important things to me right now um, but if you are creating a photo album, uh, photo frame sorry, then stick a now it's time to stick your pictures in, you could even just cover it with scrapbooking paper um, or you can just do your own artwork, it doesn't have to be journaling do whatever you want, you could even put a clock in here. I thought that would be quite a nice idea to stick a clock and make it a, a working clock. Anyhow, um, if you are journaling, then pick what the three most important things to you are right now. You'll see quite a few of these um, if you've watched recent videos because, I don't know, I seem to be a bit addicted to just drawing these quick and easy girlies. I just kind of do it absentmindedly. They only take a couple of seconds. So. And they're quite good for collage elements. Um, and this one is going to be in a car, which is or in a piece, which is why it is green. Um, so I'm going to get on to decorating these two. I've already decorated one to give you an idea. This is kind of like a little inner forest. It has little little plants and trees, leaves dropping and things. And I made this for this little guy here. This is an old polymer clay fairy I made years ago. And he's going to sit in the bottom like this, in his little fairy wood. Um, and the reason I'm doing that and incorporating him is because I've never really had a use for him. And I think it's quite important. This circle is going to be about creativity. So this is showing the creativity of where I was a few years ago. It's changed a lot. And I'm by no means proficient with polymer clay, but I can make these little fairy creatures that are quite simple to do. So I'm going to stick him on here because I think it's quite important. If Definitely in um, journaling, particularly if you have any art that you don't like, I think it's really important to keep it to see your progress. So this is kind of me displaying my progress. Um, and obviously creativity is a very important thing in my life right now. I mean, can't you tell from my, <laughs> from my nail colours? Um, so this is going to be one of my, my boxes. On the corners, just as a final note before I get on decorating the rest of them, on the edges and on the bottoms as well, because I don't like... You can, you can see I've not done the bottoms properly. On the bottoms, I am going to also add like I have done on this top circle some ink um, and I think a pearlescent colour looks nice but I think it just looks better to finish it off with something that will unite the th 
three um, or however many you put on there, the three circles. So I'm going to get on doing that. I have finished decorating my boxes and on each of them I've ordered um, writing in the same font with my trusted label maker um, to try and unite the three circles the same as I did by inking the edges. Um, and so now we're going to thread them. You need to look for something in your house that you no longer use that has thread on it that you can use to string the three together. I'm going to use this belt because I quite like the wooden, I guess the wooden beads on it. And I'll use three of them in between each of the, the circles. It has this quite good thick black rope, so that's why I'm using it. And also, at the top, it has this natural knot, which is where the nail will go, and then give me all these dangles. Um, and if anyone has seen my Etsy shop, you'll probably see I'm quite addicted to dangles. So that's why I'm using this belt. If you don't have any belts, then have a look um, for any broken jewellery you may have, like this this um, necklace. You could use to thread it. If you don't have that, then maybe string and just put some beads on it. Um, or even pebbles from the garden, you can drill a hole in and, and add some, some um, interest between the three. So all I'm going to do now is cut apart this belt. Um, leave the three and then maybe cut it about here so that I can use the rope in, in between these, this junction here and just tie in between. I'm not going to measure it, I'm just going to eyeball it. This one on love has these pretty charms that I got from bits of broken or unused jewellery and this one says love. On the sketch is actually, well actually it's drawn onto um, a torn book, I took a page out of it and it says Thames across here, it's actually a vintage London Atlas and then on the heart here it has the name of the place where I used to live in London so that's quite personal to me. And on creativity this little guy has a little basket and at the bottom I added dangles from the belt, the leftover bits of the belt. And on the back, which I thought was a good idea in case you don't want prying eyes on whatever journaling you've done on the front, you can flip it over and on the back I've just painted whatever is representative of what is in the circle underneath. This is apparently the universal symbol for creativity. It's supposed to be a fountain. Um, love, obviously, and the yin and yang sign for uh, calm. And on the edges I've just inked all around on each of the circles. It says what is most important to me. Autumn 2011. Now I don't have the 2011 numbers in this font, but I wanted it to be the same font. I didn't want to use a different ink pad, uh, stamp set. So what I did was I did the Roman numerals, so it's MMXI. Okay, so that's it, and I hope it's given you some ideas as to how to journal outside of the box by doing it inside of the box. <laughs> and if you do do anything um, of the projects that I'm currently putting up, uh, give me a holler and let me know. I recently found um, a video of a lady that did um, the cereal box art journal tutorial that I did and I was thrilled to see, see a video on it so if you do do a video stick it up as a video response or give me a shout and let me know. I'll be thrilled to know. Okay so I'll see you next time. Bye guys.
pieces of broken jewellery that you can use. Oh, he's travelling. Where are you going? You're going. You're going. You're going. You're going. You're gone. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to grab grab a, a pokey tool and just poke away. Okay? <laughs> right. 